How are you the last one to show up to your own party? That is messed up. What party? Your birthday party. What are you oh, talking what about? What are you doing? What? Surprise party. Surprise party? Are you drunk? Of course I am. It's a party. You guys can come out. Derek messed this up. Seriously. No. Where I was wondering where all the cars were. How stupid can you be? Oh, what are you just oh saying? It's a surprise party. There's people here to see you. Happy birthday. Thanks a lot, Derek. <laughs> Derek, dude, come on. Yo, how? where is this man right now? Like, he gets to this party. He has no idea that it's a surprise party. And then instead of hanging out with the people inside, he just gets blasted on the porch by himself. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> You're not even at the party, dude. You're just literally sitting outside getting blitzed. <laughs> okay, all right. Shout out Derek. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> you had all day. All day. To come and do your shopping. And you want to come now? No, no. You don't get to ask me that question. Don't worry about what I was doing. Open up back that register. You got some ringing up to do. <laughs> facts though, facts. Man, people always used to do that. I remember when I was in high school, I worked at a Sobeys. You guys have Sobeys where you're at? Um, I worked at a Sobeys. I had to wear this ugly uniform and it was late. It was like 15 minutes to close and this lady came in. She's coming through my till, scanning your stuff, whatever. And then she was complaining about the poor selection we had on the shelves. I'm like, ma'am. <laughs> the store's been picked over because we've been open for however long we were open for today. <laughs> we've been open for the past 14 hours. Come at 8 a.m. and, you know, our turkey selection will be a little better for you, lady. What the heck? People love to come in late, right at close, and overstay their welcome. Evening is not over yet. What caused the bouncy house to suddenly deflate? The answer came when mom Deborah checked her security camera and saw this man walking through her yard. Who are you? Then as he turns to leave, it happens. He apparently pulls the plug on the bouncy house. What? Causing it to deflate. Why would he do such an obnoxious thing? Yeah, why would you do that guy and who are you? Who is this mystery man that's causing problems? I hate birthday party! I hate him. You know, he's probably like a neighbor that's close by and, it, and is frustrated that A, either he didn't get invited or B, there's all this noise and now he's gotta go cause these problems. And if that's the case, then I hate you, good sir, because there are children in that bouncy castle bouncing around, enjoying their birthday. Come on, man, do better. Who come up with customers are always right. Why would the customers ever be right? I literally work here. Hmm. Okay, this is my petition to end white text on a white background. I cannot read that. <laughs> I'm going close. Um. Okay, yes, I, but I agree with the sentiment. It says that like who came up with the customer is always right. Why would the customer ever be right? I literally work here. <laughs> it's so true. The customer is usually never right. That's just, people will complain, especially working in a restaurant, like how is the customer always right? People will complain about the price of sweet potato fries. I'm like, ma'am, that's the price. Do you want sweet potato fries or not? <laughs> People are crazy. I agree though. The customer is never right. They're very rarely are they right. And as the customer, I'm always right. So. God, man, oh my gosh. So I don't know what they were firing off there. It sounded like fireworks. Maybe this was like a 4th of July thing or like some sort of celebration like that. Um, and if that's the case, 
then come on lady, you have to understand that celebrations are going to happen. Now I could understand if maybe they're firing off fireworks, it's not a day like that, it is just somebody's birthday, and like they're losing their minds, but even still, like just like, did you hear that, that shriek that came from like down low in that, it's just like, that's not a human level of noise that you just made there, man, like that, that's insane. Mm -hmm. Okay, ma'am, 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 can I ask you a question? Why are you screaming? Do you know I have a headset on and you're literally making my ears bleed? Like, there's no need to shout! <laughs> it's so true, though. Yelling is gonna get you nowhere. In fact, I'll probably be less willing to work with you on things if you're yelling at me. Because now I'm stressed. I wasn't stressed before you came here. Karen? This is ridiculous. Only babies and ex-junkies are afraid of needles. Stick me, chuckles. <laughs> Can I have a lollipop? <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I don't care because like if people are mean to me at work, I'm like, That's a you problem. Like, I don't know. There's no reason for you to yell at me. <laughs> at all or like be mean. You can just tell me that you don't like your burger and I'll get you something else. I don't know, it's pretty easy to do that. Some people don't like that though, they just wanna be mean. Some people just wanna be mean and that's okay for them I guess. I mean it's not okay but what are we gonna do? Keep being cute and funny, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we can kill her with kindness and carbs. Hey, you're in a car, she's not. I mean if you just go, she's gonna move. race cars, I know about it, okay? Oh, really? You don't oh, do that oh. in a neighborhood. Can't play that game. Don't play that game. It's not about that's okay, no, go ahead. It's, it's, it's record a live. That's exactly what you're doing, though. Huh, okay, multiple ways to look at this, folks. Let's play both sides. On one side, we have the fact, on Karen's standpoint, that yes, there is a parade. I don't think that you're allowed to just do that. And let's face it, they are probably causing quite a disturbance and not driving down the road the way that you should. On the other side of things, it's cars driving down the road, you know, like how are you gonna literally stand in the middle of said road and say that they are causing a problem because now you or you're stopping all the traffic. If there was somebody behind these people that wanted to get to their home, they can't even do that right now because you're literally standing in the middle of the road. So yeah, you know what, I, I tend, to, uh, tend to lead with the cars on this one. You need to stop sending rude customers to the wrong aisles. It's not funny. <laughs> I love that TikTok. That's hilarious. That's so true. That's absolutely funny. I get why your manager is telling you you can't do it, but them saying it's not funny is just incorrect. That's hilarious. <laughs> and almost as smart. Uh, that's a table, good sir. Excuse me. This is uh, another table. Hey, People hey, are hey. sitting at said table. Hey! Why? Hey! They already said I can move it, so I really don't care about y'all twice. 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 So, y'all gonna move y'all shit? Are y'all gonna move y'all shit? Mommy. Hey. No, I'm not here. Then move your stuff. Then move your stuff. Why are you doing this? Why are you causing these problems, man? They're, they're sitting here, they're eating dinner. Like, is this actually gonna be that much of a disturbance to you? I don't know, like, unless this is literally like in your backyard, in which case I understand that you, you definitely have a right to that space, but I don't think that that's the case. And also, even if that was the case, just call the police and tell them to get rid of these people. You know, like, I, I don't know why we have to have this altercation right here. I don't think that that's exactly what was going on here. I think that this person is probably kind of losing their shit a little bit and needs to like collect it once again and, th and zen themselves. You know, just mm, do one of these. If I get placed on another hold, I swear to God, I'm jumping off a cliff. Well, I hope you have a parachute because you're still going on hold. <laughs> out of here <laughs> oh man I get it like but what do you want to while they like look things up on their computer do you want to just be on the phone while and listen to them breathe like no thanks 
No thank you. Also, what if they gotta call someone else? This is funny. You're not gonna think it's funny. In two minutes, I'm going away. You will go away for trespassing. What's your name? Who owns the red Camaro? My parents. Are your grandparents here physically? They are. Are they here physically? Yes. You mean at the pool or like in the neighborhood? They're in the neighborhood. Right here. Are they here? Oh, no, not in the pool. Okay. They're not, like they're elderly. That's they're not, not able to walk that's here. That's not the point. They're not able to walk here. That's not the point. What is the point? What is the point? Why are you here? That's, that's my point. Why are you here right now stopping us from doing what we are doing? I always hate with these clips, we only see like 10, 15, 20 seconds of this in, uh, like altercation that's going on here. But what about the hour that happened prior? Like what went down to get to this point? What were these guys doing that caused you to get here? Cause that kind of determines everything, you know? Like were they actually causing a major problem or are you just, you know, like blowing something out of proportion here and ruining the fun? So like, fix the thing, you know? I don't really mind being on hold. It sucks when you're on hold waiting for somebody to pick up your call, but if they have to like place you on hold to do stuff, I'm like, at least you're doing something, hopefully. Ooh, people who work in like customer service on the phones and stuff, do you ever put someone on hold to just like breathe for a second? <laughs> Say that you need to like look something up and put them on hold, but really you just need a moment for you? Does that happen? <gasps> Ooh, maybe people are doing that to me and I don't even know. I hope not. I hope I make I don't make anyone feel like that. One time I was a Karen, but it was warranted. I'll tell you about that another time. <laughs> Weird doorbell. Okay. Oh, oh. Thank you so much. You cannot do that. This party is illegal. It is it not. Is illegal in I'm having friends over. That's and you're kicking my that, door, you're... That... I'm gonna see you for the damages there, too. Here's the thing, if it's so illegal, just call the police. Just call the police. You know, if it is so illegal, like, we it can't possibly be happening. If it's that big of an issue to you, just call the police, let them deal with it. You know, like, that's, that's what I think about this. If it's actually illegal, and it's actually causing you that much of a problem, then the police will come here and they will break it up, right? Like, that should be the case. Just leave it to them and, like, keep yourself in your home and stop kicking on people's doors, you know? Don't like it. Oh my God, that's the best. One time at this restaurant I used to work at, my um, I had a really one really cool manager. The rest of the managers sucked. And if you're watching this, you know who I'm talking about. Um, but this one manager was great, loved him. And then I had this table and they were being like rude and crazy. And we had like little pumpkins around and they were like picking them up and trying to smash them on the ground. It was great, like in a restaurant. And then so I told my manager, I was like, they're creating ruckus over there and I don't know what to do. And then he went over and kicked them out and it was so cool. And I just got to stand there in my little apron going, yeah, I told you not to smash the pumpkins. <laughs> Don't smash pumpkins at a restaurant. Oh, smashing pumpkins, that's like a band or something, right? I'm like, I know that. You can pack your things and leave. There's the door. <laughs> There's the door! <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Sometimes at the restaurant when people are yelling, I just walk in the other direction because I don't want to deal with it. I'm like, somebody else will, somebody else will get that one, not me. People do love me. I didn't know. Sorry guys, but I'm actually working. Oh, I hate this one. And you're making my dog bark and my customers hate this one. Your dog's been barking before I even said anything. But I'm on the, I'm, I'm on the phone. Yeah, that's, that's a problem with your dog. Center. That's it's the problem, problem with your dog. You're outside making noise. Okay. Yep, I don't care. <laughs> you know, it's just like, I'd be like, uh, no, it's my birthday and I don't give a crap. So uh, enjoy your job calling people. I'm gonna be here like people are gonna sing me happy birthday because I am loved. I'm gonna enjoy my birthday and that's just what's gonna happen, guys. I hate it when people cause problems like this. Like, you're, you know, it's like you're literally in your home. You decided that you were gonna do this. You were gonna be a call center person in your house. Relax, like you made that decision for yourself, I'm gonna enjoy my birthday. Yo, 
My dude fell back right there. Like he lost, like all physical presence in his lower half vanished for a split second there. It was gone. Like all, all feeling, all sensation, all power in those legs, gone. Total spaghetti. Wow, okay. I did not order this drink. Are you, are you dumb? Are you incompetent? Remake this for me. Ma'am, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. I will gladly remake your drink and I will also give you a recovery card so your next drink is on the house. And dumbass you did order that drink, you stupid. I love Spencois. Spencois. Oh my gosh, but like so true. Sometimes the conversations that you have in the shower though, whether they're like future interactions, you're like, maybe I'll one day have this conversation with somebody, or where you're like, oh my god, I wish I would have thought of this, I wish I would have said this. <laughs> Those shower conversations be hitting different. I'm serious about that. Um, but yeah, love Spencewa's TikToks. Very silly, very fun. Because you're still thinking about me. Can you hurry up? I gotta go. I love that they went together and created this TikTok. <laughs> That's so silly. They're like, I'm going to act as if I'm a Karen, and then you passively aggressively check me out. Honestly, I find that the most fun thing to do to Karens is to be like ridiculously nice to them. Just like over the top kind. It really stresses them out and they don't know what to do about it and it makes them like even more angry. Cause they're like, well, why aren't you reacting? Or like, why aren't you mad at me? And if you're just really nice, they just get confused and it's the funniest thing. <laughs> Sucks. Like it was fun, it was fun, it was fun, and then it was like, oh, it's not that fun anymore. Now we go and have a cake. Uh, oh, come on, man. Like you, you can play with the cake, but don't ruin the cake. Also, one of my worst party experiences ever, very quickly before we finish, we were throwing a party. It was my roommate's birthday, and literally some drunk girl went into our fridge. We hadn't done anything with the cake yet and started eating it with our hands. Worst experience ever. Hated it. Hugging you, oh. hugging you tightly. Working in retail sucks. I worked at American Eagle for two weeks. It was the worst job I've ever had. And I worked at Sobeys. That was a close second, but man, uh, retail sucks so hard. So to all you retail workers, shout outs. Cause I mean, what else would I do? I, I need you and I appreciate you and I respect you and I will not care in you, swear.